Hello everyone and welcome. This vessel was originally designed for just a single video and somehow that has blossomed into six videos including this one. Here are the other five and I'll put links to them down there in the description but if you've not seen them don't worry about it. The short of it is that we've been exploring the jewel system. We ended up in this lovely little low orbit about lathe. And last episode, we were exploring our different options on how to get from lathe back to Kerbin and discovered that by far in this situation, the most fuel efficient thing to do is to perform a single burn in low orbit about lathe that will blast us towards Kerbin in one single go. And you can check out the last episode if you want to see how I worked that out. But this episode is going to be about a different problem. You see, the ideal transfer window to Kerbin isn't coming up for hundreds of days. And I can't even use the maneuver tool that is built into the game to help me work this out because I'm in orbit about lathe and Kerbin isn't even being given as an option. Now I did look at how I can do this without using the maneuver tool back in my getting back from Duna episode and you can check that out if you want to. But it is rather fiddly. And the thing is, we've been saving fuel all the way through this journey. I think it's time to now start reaping the benefits of that. We have a ton of fuel. I don't have to worry about doing this the most efficient way possible. I want to do this the easiest way possible. So you know what? This burn's coming up in 2 hours and 10 minutes. I'm going to do it right now. The heck with all of this transfer window stuff. If you happen to have a little bit of extra fuel aboard, there is an easier way. And not just an easier way. In terms of playtime, I actually think this is a quicker way to do it. Now I want to qualify that, not in terms of game time. Uh, our crew here is going to be spending more time in space. Sorry there folks, that's just the way it's going to be. But you know, we got time warp to deal with all of that kind of stuff and it's not like in the stock game life support is an issue. So I want to show you this nice, quick and I think easier way to get this done. Especially if you happen to have a little bit of extra fuel. All right, so we are out of Jules FOI. We are falling down towards Kerbin, and if we set Kerbin as a target, we can see we are completely missing it because <laughs> we didn't do this at the right time. So here's, let's see, what's it? This is where, uh, this is our, when we're closest to Kerbin, but Kerbin happens to be way over here. We're missing it by quite a lot. But here's how we can, let's center this on the sun. We can see this a little bit better. What we can do though is we can add a maneuver right here at periapsis and start reducing this orbit. Now if you don't see these close encounter indicators moving, that means you need to move the maneuver forward in time until you see those encounter indicators jump. There we go. That's funny there. We got to go to where we get the jump there. And let's see, can we go Oh, oh, we need to come this way, and here we can see we're getting our close encounter indicators. There we go, we got ourselves a Kerbin encounter. So we ended up doing this burn here. This burn is 300 meters per second. And what's ending up doing is it's changing the period of our resulting orbit so that when we do this one more orbit, which means it is going to take us longer to get to Kerbin, we will come down and run into Kerbin uh, on our next orbit in, I don't know, when are we going to get there? Nine years from now. <laughs> now, if you want to get there quicker, all you got to do is keep burning that more retrograde. Bring it around again. Let's keep going around. Here we go. Let's bring that orbit down. It'll, we'll pause it again. Coming around, coming around, coming around. Here they come again. Till we get another encounter. Whoop, very close here. Boom, there we go. There is our second encounter. We, we brought this down even further. Again, we're going to do one more orbit, coming back down here again, and now we're getting there in seven years. But now it's costing us 791 meters per second. And each of these is costing us more. If you really want to do this efficiently, I have a video on how to do this really efficiently, but it will take you a long amount of game time. But keep in mind, that's game time, not 
playtime, right? Um, this will be very easy to set up playtime. Now we do have, again, tons of fuel. Let's see if we can get another encounter. So I'm going to keep going retrograde. Doo -doo 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 -doo. This will also, in all of this, reduce my encounter speed with Kerbin, but it is a less efficient way to do it. Here we got another one coming up there. I saw I went by there. There we go. That's enough. Can I get another? Can I get one more? I don't think I can because I'm getting too close to Kerbin's orbit. Yeah, this isn't going to cut it. So we're going to go back. I'm going to do this one. It's not the most efficient thing to do, but it certainly is a playtime efficient thing to do. Uh, and we've got the fuel, so, you know, what the heck. So I performed that burn down there at Periapsis, setting up my Kerbin encounter. But of course, I do have to do one more orbit about the sun before I end up encountering Kerbin for real. Along the way, we did do a mid-course correction to tweak my closest approach to Kerbin so that the altitude, the closest approach to Kerbin, is 45 kilometers well into Kerbin's atmosphere because I plan on doing an aero capture, even though I actually have the fuel to do a straight up normal capture, but I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to do it this way anyway. And once these folks were safely inserted into a low orbit about Kerbin, well, they need a ride. This thing can't land, so Jebediah is going to pick them up in his spanky new single-stage-to-orbit space plane, featuring a pair of those late-tier rapier engines. Yeah, these rapier engines make building these things not that difficult. And as Jebediah makes his way over to the Jewel One to pick up her crew after this, well, rather long mission, I do want to announce that this is not only going to be the end of this Jewel One series, but also is going to mark the end of these tutorials for just a little while. I know that they are popular, but they do take a long time to make, and I want to get back into streaming. And if you're interested in seeing me live, I stream twice a week, Mondays and Thursdays at 2 p.m. Eastern, or whatever time that works out to be for you, wherever you happen to be. But wherever you happen to be, I want to thank you for watching and hope you have yourself a great day.